Hey guys, Triple H Guy 2004 here again with Torino GT Guy 1969. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, we are here. Um, I got a suggestion from one of my friends on you here on YouTube. Um, he is, of course, the one and the only Billy fucking Paz. Um, he made a suggestion of maybe doing the top three matches of, you know, top three matches, not maybe our favorite matches, but top three just that we thought on the top of our head, pretty much, that we thought were excellent matches that we think every wrestling fan should at least try to make a check out, and I believe we picked up at least, at least my three are on DVD, I don't know about his three, I, we really didn't, you know, there's nothing we rehearsed, I just said this to him literally like a minute ago, and so, my top three matches, in no particular order, are my, one of my favorites, and it's because I saw this match live, um, I think most of the ones I've actually, actually, two of the three that I have, I've seen live. Um, my first one is Triple H versus The Undertaker, Hell in the Cell, WrestleMania 28. I was there live. I had maybe some shitty seats, but I was still there, and it was still, it was WrestleMania. i never been to WrestleMania. Like I've said, if you've watched my videos before, this was my first WrestleMania, and I thought I saw a hell of a WrestleMania for my first one. Um, I will always be partial to this match. Um, Shawn Michaels in the match made it even specialer. Everything, just the surrounding of it being WrestleMania is just what makes that one of my favorite matches. Um, Dad, what's your first one? Uh, mine would have to be the uh, Undertaker and I think it was Jeff Hardy down in Manchester. Okay, yeah, we'll go to that one. That is also my second one. Um, Jeff Hardy versus The Undertaker. I remember this match well. We were both there. We were sitting fourth row. It was probably the best wrestling tickets we've ever had. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you there. Um, what? It was, a, like I said, I don't know if I said this before, it was a ladder match. Um, it is on the ladder match three disc set. Um, I believe it's on the second disc. So, if you want to check this match out, if you have that DVD, pop that in the second disc. I believe this is either the first or second matches on those. Um, it is an awesome match. Um, some of the stuff I do remember from it. Um, Dad, do you remember anything particular from that match that made it so special for you? Well, I guess at the end of sportsmanship, you know, they showed each other when they shook each other's hands, you know. Yep, and that is also on the DVD which I was very thoroughly happy that they put that on there. I didn't know if it was, I didn't know if it was, you know, kind of one of those moments that only the live crowd gets. I didn't know if Raw had just cut off the air or if they had shown that, at least, or if they, they might have, and that might have just happened and it recorded right through it. I'm not sure. I don't remember ever seeing the original broadcast. I've seen bits and pieces of it on YouTube. I've seen this match in particular, but I've seen bits and pieces of the show on it. Um, I remember one thing I do remember is there it was near the towards the end of the match. Taker had been beating the hell out of Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy had been taking a hell of a beating, and um, the Undertaker grabs a steel chair and just wraps it right around his head. Gave him gave him the old steel chair tuxedo or bow tie, whatever. He just walloped him with it, I mean, I even felt this chair shot, okay, that's how hard that chair shot was, um, then, do you remember the ending? No, I don't, no. just, um, what do you, anything else you do remember about this match, Dad? I don't know, you know, I get that, I don't know, I, I don't think so, you know, I, well, I do. Um, I remember the ending um, being Jeff Hardy went up for the thing, and I remember JR clear as day. JR saying, because I've seen this match on the DVD and I've seen it on YouTube, 
And I remember Jeff. JR saying, get your ass up the ladder, kid. Make yourself famous. Get your ass up the ladder. Make yourself famous. He just kept on repeating that. And then The Undertaker came up and, of course, choke slammed him off and retained the undisputed championship. I We do remember this. What do you remember so infamously about the Undertaker's bike ride when he used to ride his motorcycle. Oh, yeah, he had to do it twice. Yeah, he had to do it twice. You got a miscue. Yeah, I got a picture of it. Um, I do have a video up here of my picture album, and I think I'm pretty sure I showed this off during that. If not, I'll come back with another video showing it off. But um, what is your second match, Dad, that you like? Oh, I don't know. Um, Just pick anything. I don't know. One of the LOD matches. I don't know. Dad really liked the LOD. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't yep. know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, I guess I'll come back with two more. My dad really can't think of anything right now. Um, but, um, my, my runner-up, I guess I would say, would be the Hell in the Cell between Mankind and The Undertaker. The Undertaker, um, The Undertaker won this match, um, but Mankind took a hell of a beating in this, going through the Hell in the Cell, going through, going off the Hell in the Cell into the table, and what was the second one? Where did he go? I went through the cell. Yeah, he went through, through the, the top. cell. Yep. Got choke slammed through that, and then the chair came down and hit him right in the head. JRs. Right, head. right in the. Oh my God! I think he might be dead. Somebody come out and help this man. Seriously, somebody get off your ass and come and help this man. He might be dead. I, I just JR is awesome. He is the greatest announcer. Like I've said before, Gordon Soley was great. Vince McMahon was great. Um, Bobby the Brain Heenan was awesome. But I'm sorry for pound for pound for knowing his wrestling holds, knowing his wrestling and the wrestling knowledge that this yeah. man has. Nobody beats Jim Ross. I'm sorry. It's just not possible. It's just not possible, I don't think. I don't think there will be somebody in our era that comes along that is good as JR. Um, I think Vince McMahon thinks Michael Cole is that person, but Michael Cole is not Jim Ross. Um, it's just, what, what are your opinions on that, Dad? Same thing. I don't, Michael Cole can't, I don't think Michael Cole could lace up J.R.'s boots. Okay. Seriously. Yeah, we gotta go to Market Basket first. Um, yeah. Do you think anybody else is as good as him? I mean, I like yeah, a Gordon lot of... Soli and... Yeah, like, I like, a, like I said, I like all those guys that I mentioned. But pound for pound for yeah. wrestling what knowledge. If you yeah. want wrestling knowledge, JR has it. Yeah. I mean, Gordon Soli had it, and that's where he learned from. It's just like, I don't know, Mankind and Terry Funk. It's like Gordon Soli and Jim Ross are kind of like that. Like, back and forth. Some people will say McFoley's been the best. McFoley himself will say that Terry Funk is the best of the hardcore. Just, that's what the great thing about wrestling is. We have our favorites, and we have our non-favorites. It's not that we don't, that our favorites, that our non-favorites are people that we exactly hate. We don't hate them. We respect what they do, and what going on the road for as many dates of the year that they do. That we respect the hell out of them. Just, we don't like their characters they portray on TV or in front of us when we're at the live crowds. But we know that's their character. Um, my last match will have to be... I guess it will be another match that I saw live. Um... 
it would have to be The Rock and John Cena from WrestleMania 28. I really enjoyed the match. Um, the Rock almost botched the ending, but it was still a good match. Um, it was the main event for WrestleMania 28. So I will always be partial to the card of WrestleMania 28 since that was my first paper, my first WrestleMania going to. Um, Dad, what are your thoughts on the um, the old oh, the old John Cena the Rock match at yeah. WrestleMania? Yeah, I always remember. That. I always be partial to that one too because that was my first WrestleMania too. You know. Mm. Um, then you guys have ever been to WrestleMania? When it comes around or when it doesn't, just just go, man. You'll you'll never forget it, you know. Just something you'll always remember, you know. So, so yes. all I gotta say about that, because that's the bottom line. Because Triple H guy two thousand four and Trino GT nineteen sixty nine said so, and that's the bottom line. Because peace, brother. Right there.